Hello everyone and welcome to the review show. Kieran Kill here, your host, and today we're concentrating on Legends of WrestleMania. WWE in 2009 came up with an idea. It's going to be WrestleMania 25 in April, so we're going to take out Legends of WrestleMania. This is the game, this is the cover, the greatest game before WWE 12 came out this year. It was the greatest game in my game library, the greatest wrestling game of all time in my opinion, for the sheer brilliance, the sheer nostalgia of, for any wrestling fan of the game. On the cover, Hulk Hogan is here, Stone Cold Steve Austin, Andre the Giant, The Rock, Bobby Heenan, uh, the mouth of the South Jimmy Hart, and on the back you've got a lot of great legends of course, Relive, Rewrite and Redefine, that was the, the selling logo for the game, that's it there, uh, Legends of WrestleMania. The, you know, for the retro style of the action, this is based between 1985 and 1999, the Legends. Um, because of the, the style of them, you know, the, the eras of them years, they, they brought in the 15 WrestleManias from them years, 1 to 15, and they brought in the Royal Rumble Arena. They're the only 16 arenas in the game. I would have liked more arenas in the game. I would have liked to see the Saturday Night's Main Event Arena, which was in, of course, the SmackDown vs. Raw 2009, which you could take over the wrestlers from to fight Legend vs. Current Superstar, but you couldn't take over the Saturday Night's Main Event Arena, which was DLC that year in SmackDown vs. Raw 2009. Never understood that to this point. Um, SmackDown vs. Raw 2009 was accompanied by five legends who were, of course, Earthquake, Doink the Clown, the Bushwhackers, and, of course, also, um, they included Vader. So, when you've taken these five legends and a legendary arena, and you've put them into that year's SmackDown vs. Raw game, and then you suddenly don't let them import into the Legends of WrestleMania game. THQ obviously um, done a, a, made a blooper there as far as their organization. They, um, they should have really sorted that out because it didn't make sense. But that's something I haven't understood since. But anyway, it's no big deal, I suppose, on. No, retrospectively, but what I'm saying is, what have been good? But anyway, Legend of WrestleMania features, of course, um, the greatest legends in the history of the sport, or of the sports entertainment, I should say. And of course, it is a scripted sport, but of course, it is great fun. The color, the spectacle, the drama, everything unfolds in the world of wrestling is all great. It's cartoonish, but it's brilliant. But, um, of course, in Legends of WrestleMania, we've seen 38 of the world's greatest legends. Of course, four of the all-time great managers. 38 of the legends, of course, include Jake the Snake Roberts, Mr. Perfect, Bret the Hitman Hart, Jim the Anvil Neidhart, the Legion of Doom, um, Kamala, the Ugandan Giant. We've got Shawn Michaels, the Heartbreak Kid. You've got... The Ultimate Warrior, you've got the um, Superfly Jimmy Schnuka, Sergeant Slaughter, the Big Boss Man, the Million Dollar Man Ted DiBiase, uh, Rab uh, did I say Ravish and Rick Root, um, so many of the greatest legends. And then one of my favorite parts of that particular game was the creation mode. You could create other legends that you were given all the parts to them, but you weren't given the full. Uh, Part and the, the, the full character, you had to create them, and it was great being able to create the legends. 30 legends you could create to have in your roster, and that would that would add to the other legends. So the game really is great. You know, I had three. No, I think I had four eras in this, and I'm saved in different memory pens. It was I have the 
early 90s era, the 80s era and the mid to late 90s era of 30 extras from each era which was pretty cool to have. Um, really good um, Legends game of course, brilliant stuff. It actually it is a lot better than Showdown which I was talking about on my last show. Um, is a lot better than Showdown um, Legend of Wrestling and the predecessor, which was of course um, Showdown, or which was of course Legends of Wrestling 2. But uh, it was really needed, the world of wrestling really needed it. A lot of people um, didn't agree with the gameplay system, uh, they thought it was too uh, button bashy. Oh, well, I don't know if that's the correct term, but they thought it was too. Uh, arcade, you know they tried to go all arcade but they failed kind of thing, they made it look kind of bulked up all the characters, made them look far more musclier than they should have been, for example Yokozuna and Andre the Giant shouldn't have been so muscly, they should have been more fat rather than muscle, whereas um, Hulk Hogan was far too muscly, they had him like he was in the early 80s, not during the period they tried to um, not during the period they tried to uh, kind of capture, which was the late 80s, early 90s. Um, and he had far too much hair, but then he did at a time have a, a more hair than he did in his prime. Um, I suppose they just tried to make the characters look exact. They actually, I think, based all the characters on their fame, on their, um, which their toys at the time, their action figures, which were made by, uh, well I can't remember exactly who they were made by, but the toys that were made of course at the time, they tried, they tried to make the characters just like these toys. But um, Legends of Wrestlemania, great game, it's, you know, the, the, the game modes in the game were, um, uh, legend killer mode where you had to go into a gauntlet and defeat all the legends as they came at you uh, one after another which is pretty good when you do it first but then it gets pretty you start to lose interest in that particular game which in that particular game mode which is kind of it's a bit of an annoying thing and then relive rewrite and redefine of course it is wrestlemania tour mode and that in that mode you go through matches from every WrestleMania up to from 1 to 15 and you see a video package before each match which is pretty cool. You know you can watch the match them play the matches between say the Andre the Giant versus Hulk Hogan in WrestleMania 3, the famous fall. build up to it Coming and then you play the, the match from British and the re and the re love mode you can play it as Hulk Hogan and Hunter, Andre the Giant. Hunter, do the famous slam. And then in rewrite, you have to play as Andre the Giant and beat Hulk Hogan, won the title, and then in redefine, you may have to play it in a steel cage. That's the idea of rewrite, relive, redefine, WrestleMania Tour mode. Um, it's the same with all the major matches: Honky Tonk Man versus Jake the Snake Roberts, the matches between uh, um, Hulk, or between Undertaker and King Kong Bundy, WrestleMania 11. Match between Bret Hart and, and Stone Cold Steve Austin from WrestleMania 13, and of course the, the famous match between Stone Cold and The Rock from WrestleMania 15. Of course, other matches that are uh, brought back in this game: of course, The Undertaker versus The Big Boss Man, Hell in a Cell, WrestleMania 15. You have WrestleMania 8: Undertaker versus Jake the Snake Roberts, WrestleMania 8: Bret Hart versus. Roddy Roddy Piper, of course, WrestleMania 6, Hulk Hogan Ultimate Warrior, WrestleMania 5, Match on Hogan, Hulk Hogan, uh, WrestleMania 5, Jake the Snake Roberts, Andre the Giant, Rick Cruz, Hulk Hogan, Warrior,